Starkilla, Starkilla, you're on the air. Yo, what's I got going one on, question for you. Yeah, one question whoa, for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Can I say hello first? Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure yeah. What's going on, guys? Man, what's up, man? I don't really know you. I don't really know you too well, but I understand that you're not happy with, I guess, Nick Dioria. I, I think most of us are actually. I'm sorry. Can you say that one more time? Yeah, yeah. I just said I don't know you, but I know you have an issue with Nick Diorio. So you kind of want to. I don't. Wanna... I, d I don't. I do not have a, an issue with him. I feel like anytime I twin anything, he he goes a little berserk. But I'm sorry. Okay, if yeah, I come, huh? I'm sorry if I come off that way. I, I really don't intend to be that way. You don't. All right. Yeah, but no. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. So what do I think about black people? Um, okay, so in that instance, what I was saying was when you guys all jump on everything I say, and I appreciate how you guys have each other's backs, I think you guys should have each other's backs, but you specifically have to, mm. you take away from everything that someone else is saying in terms of the sexual assault in that situation. Now, with me saying the black people thing, I, I did not call you a racist, even though you tweeted that multiple times. I never said you were a racist. Mm -hmm. That was just, yeah, that was me trolling. What? What the fuck? Oh, he fell out. He fell out. Hold on, hold on, guys, 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 hold on. He fell out because of mobile. He fell out because of mobile. I will give him. Hold on, guys, 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 guys. I'll give a moderator role, and then, uh, and then that won't happen. Star killer, hop back in there. I swear to God, what is every single person? I don't give a fuck. What is he gonna do? Delete my server in front of me? Like that would be a fucking story. All right, Star killer, are you there? Yeah, mobile sometimes does that. It's yeah, funny. I just gave you mod, so that shouldn't happen. Go, go. No problem. Yeah, go ahead. You know, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know where it cut out. Uh, but, um, you, you cannot were like answering about the black. Like, what do you think of black people comment? You said yeah, that like, we were minimizing the si the situation around sexual assault, and that we weren't taking your entire point seriously. Yeah, we and, and, and as it, I yeah. said previously, I feel like everyone else is able to have a civil conversation about it. It's okay if we disagree. Me and Gokunaro didn't don't agree, but we've become good friends. For some reason, Nick, I feel like you take shit way too personally. You get really well, Starkill. Really I don't want to be your friend. Why do I? What do you that, want me to be? That's fine. With? You don't have to be my friend. That's fine. But you know, if you're gonna snap about everything I say, I might as well fuck with you a little bit. Is the way I look at it. So, it's, oh, so you fuck with me by saying it's clear how you guys feel about black people. No, no, no. It's about the way of you saying that Ethan's a hypocrite. And you're proof for something like, oh, but he didn't say the name. He didn't say the name. It's just me trying to dish it back to All right. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. So, so I have an issue with minorities. What? Yeah, no, no. So I'm uh, saying so ba I, based on I how didn't you... didn't address your argument, so I, it's clear how I have an issue with minorities. That's what you're no, saying. No, no, no. Based on how you form an argument against Ethan, one can interpret the same thing about you. And it's, wait, it's wait. not so that so by saying that you're gonna make a comment about how I don't like black people. I did I say you don't like black people? Is that what it's I said? clear how you guys feel about black people? So wait, wait, what about the first one when you went you went on a, a tyrant on, on Twitter? You went crazy because I tweeted something without saying no one's name. I said edgy channels use the the n word, and then you went you flipped the hell because out because we it was so obvious you were talking about Turkey Tom, and I didn't flip the hell out. I replied to you. Do you not want me to reply to you? Do you not want like any sort of exposure? Like, yeah, is it an inconvenience that, that, that's that it's that's a bigger? Like, I I'm not even that much bigger than you. I'm only a 35k YouTuber. That's fine, and I, I apologize. I shouldn't. I should. I should not have phrased that. I'm learning as I go along. But at the same time, I don't think that you should have flipped down the way you did. But wait, wait. Can we see the? Can that. we see the tweet where Nick uh, flipped out? Yeah. I, I, can somebody pull that up? Yeah. Um, I want to. I want to get like full context because I don't Star know the whole situation. Starkill, you retweeted a tweet saying that he has issues mm -hmm. with black people, like blatantly, just flat out saying it. One of the tweets I said that. That uh, one that Ethan replied to. Wait, he retweeted a tweet that when said. I'm Sorry, continue. When I'm being dogpiled by multiple large channels, yeah, I didn't just pull that out of my ass. I've seen multiple things. That that was just one that came up that that messaged me that I retweeted. Okay, so I, you made up statement just, about how I like like how I have an issue with black people. That was something you definitely made a statement about, like in multiple different contexts. So we, we can totally write that down that you made that comment in some way, shape, or form. Well, I'm saying that you you minimize any criticize of uh, criticism of you, and or minimize anything about going hate against criticism and hating black people are like two completely different roads. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Proceed. I don't know why it's cutting out on me. 
I'm saying like if you're saying if you're making an argument that I can't take criticism and mm -hmm. your response is to say I have an issue with minorities, I, I, it's like it, that's not criticism. I don't have to take that. I blocked you for that. No, no, what, I think that's I, totally what, fair to block you for. What, when I'm talking to someone else about sexual assault, when I'm talking about sexual assault and you're and you are going against it, saying that it doesn't matter, doesn't matter what, what, what that has to do with. We're talking about some YouTube drama about Keem and Ethan. That that's what I'm saying is that you, you take away from the bigger problem. Dude, I you're understand. the guy who said that Bo Black's responding to Ethan Klein uh, mm -hmm. was like, uh, let me. I, I would like to find the quote so I don't take you out of, out of context here. Uh, this is a comment you made to Bo Black's. Yeah, Bro, you completely ignored what he was saying and you defended Keen. I'm mm -hmm. sorry if that happened to your family, but using it in this situation is equivalent to saying, I'm not racist, I have black friends. Mm -hmm. Your actions show different from what you're claiming you care about. So in this context of this tweet, Bo Blacks is saying, like, you're saying I don't care about victims. Uh, my, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry I have to put this in context, Bo Blacks, but my mother and sister were raped. So rape is something that, like, I take I very seriously. About, yeah, I do. So, so how do you go from two of my immediate family members were raped mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, I have a black friend. I can say the N-word, dude. I mean, I'll, I'll, I, to add to that, too, I personally believe that sexual assault in that context is more damning than just racism, really, in my opinion. Like, I mean, ra racist beliefs, to be honest, like racism saying the N-word, things like that, mm -hmm. you know, that is very, very small in comparison to an actual, like, rape of someone's family members or, you know, the in that situation, right? Like, I feel like that that one in right. particular is just way more damning. Right, and, and I put and I put a follow-up tweet, and I told, and, I, and Bo Blacks, I, I'm telling you now, man to man, I apologize for saying if. If my intent in saying if wasn't questioning whether it was true or not. And I said that multiple times. I was not yeah, saying what I, I meant if, if when I said if, what I meant was if meaning I didn't know. Meaning I didn't know prior. You know, I'm not oh, Okay. I'm not, yeah, I understand, man. Uh, it's all yeah. good. The issue is like I'm trying that, to say yeah. the same thing that Bo Blacks is trying to say, but I just said it meaner. So that means I have a problem with black people. Yeah, can I can I say something here real quick? So, mm -hmm. um, someone in the chat also brought it up. The, the, you retweeted a tweet, like, as if you endorsed it, that said, uh, Nick's just finding out that he has issues with black people. I mean, it's not like he supported his friend's anti-black racism and mocked two black women for calling it out, but sure, you have no issue with him. And the the tweet you retweeted was a, a woman calling Nick racist, mm -hmm. um, uh, as if you endorsed it. So, do you believe that Nick hates black people? No, I don't believe any of you, any of you guys hate black people. So why would I, you, I, you say? No, 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 no. Listen, it's because I when he, Nick said something along the lines of H three fans are just pulling stuff out of the sky now. They're just and like like I said that just to just to come just to pull it out of nowhere. I'm saying that that I, it didn't come out of nowhere. There are people that do believe that. That, okay, that, but like they don't have to sort evidence. Like uh, they don't have to like source evidence, and you don't have to. Either. And and you know, and you're right. Whenever whenever I do retweet something, I I'm this is still a learning process for me. I don't know if you guys know, I am su super new. But yeah, I now I understand that whenever I retweet something, I am endorsing it. And you're 100 percent right on that. So I should be more cautious about it, especially if I'm being involved with with bigger channels. But I wasn't. Right, so then you know why I have an issue with you. 100 percent. I, I do not blame you 100% for having me uh, an issue with me. What about what about prior to that though? What about uh, what about prior to that? When, okay, when, well, uh, we, last do week? we have that tweet? I I want to see that one because I don't even remember the context of it. Um, does anyone like? I can scroll through, but does anyone? What like, tweet are you the, looking for? He made a Twitter video about Turkey Tom. And, All right, I'll um, get it. Anything you want me to pull up and show on screen, I'll I'll do. I'll just the video to you when I find it. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking for it. Twitter, not Star Killer. Um. I mean, I I'll say this much from somebody who was kind of like detached. I was working on a project during that entire thing. So when I saw that tweet that you made, Starkill, immediately, right? Like when I saw it in the threads and everything, I immediately assumed, like looking at the tweet, that the intention was to paint Nick as a racist when. I think that that was, yeah, while I understand, like, now, maybe that's not the intent for sure. It's just, it comes off that way so hard to, like, somebody who just immediately opens up a thread, you know? Oh, yeah, right. yeah, I'm you. No. I understand. Uh, no, I, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not disagreeing with you. And, uh, Nick, I apologize. I'm, I'm not, you know, you don't have to like me, but I apologize if I, uh, for well, doing that. Here, you know, actually, let me walk, walk you through this one. Um, Go ahead. What were your 
biggest issues in like the videos that me and Tom made specifically because this is gonna like because uh, I can walk you through what I did and I want like you to know what my what is my big bias point here is my bias on Twitter or is my bias in my videos or both? Wait, you're talking about like a reference to Ethan? Yeah, yeah, in this drama, the one we're talking like where is my bias? No, I'm I'm listen, I'm completely fine with you not liking Ethan. I like like I said in the situation with me and Go Canaro, like we we became cool throughout the whole thing, and there's I still disagree with half the stuff he said. But what, what, what I'm saying is that every time Ethan says anything, I feel like he's just dogpiled. He's just, he's, it's just like without mercy. I feel like But do you people not forget... notice that that's what he does in every aspect of anything Kim says to anybody else? That he's getting to the point where he's like responding to Slasher, asking him what Keemstar said so he can comment about it on his own profile? Do you not see like he's dragging this entire situation okay. out right now right. to the point where it, like, and he's, he's obviously going for the platform. All right. Well, he's well, talking about me, the YouTube me... partner program and stuff like that. He's, yeah. he's going, he's using every fucking fabric of his uh persona here to to try to do as much damage as possible is it not fair to uh to have people not agree with that give him a no. taste of his own medicine listen let me let me say this i if, if ethan was to ask me personally do, do i think he should he should go on or just drop it i would tell him yeah i think he should just drop it i think it's a smart mm -hmm. business move okay but i can't speak from ethan's point of view keem has been just picking at him for for i can't even i can't even recall if, how long it's been every time someone says anything he oh i'm not surprised yep this seems like h3 and then the horse memes like bro that that's his wife like i can't speak for him because i don't know what how i would react in that situation you know maybe maybe it is just old fashioned just vengeance at this point but i can't blame him for it because look how hard king goes you know you know okay fine i'm gonna tell you this much star killer so with ethan letton keem i'm I, I am actually cool with both of them. Full transparency is like I'm really cool with Keem. Like I, he's he's a friend of mine. Right. And with Ethan, I'm cool with him too. Like he's me and him don't have like an issue or anything of the sort. Mm. When I see Ethan get into these fights with Keemstar, right? Obviously, there's an issue of like personal stuff coming out of it. Mm. Do you think that it would be better if Ethan just like brushed it off, completely ignored, also just blocked Keem, like just completely got rid of him? Like in in the timelines, like he didn't respond to him. He also blocked him back. They'd never go at it each other. Do you think that would be just healthier for both of them and the platform? Because I think that. Um. Yeah. I. I, I mean, it, it depends. Well, it, from healthier and for the platform, I mean, I don't know how much it, it actually has to do with it. I. Can't, I really. I'm sincerely like I don't know how much impact their arguments actually have for their mental health. Um, yeah, and for business, yeah, I think it, it would be better to just walk away. But like I said before, like I, mm -hmm. I don't blame him for doing it either because I could fully understand if someone just kept coming at my wife and supporting anyone who talks bad about me, endorsing them. Yeah, I could see it. I could see it getting to him. And, and like I mentioned earlier, Ethan sure. doesn't need he doesn't need this YouTube drama. Like he, you know, he had Eric Andre on his last podcast. He, he's he's moved past this level in his career. But I don't think like, he I has think... moved past it. He's allowing himself to still be at this level while simultaneously making content at a higher echelon. Like he doesn't like yeah, he's moved past this, but he also likes being here, dude. He, he's a drama channel now. Look at his YouTube channel. He made the video on Mudahar. He made the video calling out the uh, the channel who like. Like, what was it? The one who said, like, old and something people are going to die from the COVID or whatever. And he made a whole video talking about that. Oh, yeah, Tracy, uh, uh, three that yeah. Dude, his channel is, is like a drama channel. Right, he's man, commentary. But, but dude, he's, he's like, it's, it's known. It's not a secret. Anytime, like, you, you criticize someone, they're going to defend themselves. Yo, and I dude, mean, like, totally, it's just with totally. Hey, I mean, on the, when. Can I just say, I, I don't care about drama channels. Like, I actually endorse it. Like, yo, it's fucking I am it's a drama spicy. Channel. It's great. Yeah, it's cute. I agree. Yeah, <laughs> like, fuck it. I'm just saying, like, if you're saying he's moved past this point in his career and it's obvious Ethan actually likes playing in the mud a little bit, I think that's mm -hmm. not really that great of an argument. But, sorry. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, well, you know, it's like if you want to get burned, don't go in a kitchen. Like, Ethan's, like, getting himself into these situations by continuing to stay involved. Mm -hmm. like, uh, well, can I ask you guys this? Do you, think, do you think Ethan's a good businessman? Do you, do you think you guys believe that? Uh, if he's the one working on uh, Teddy Fresh, I think he is. If it's Ela Klein, I think she's probably a better business uh, businesswoman. Uh, I think they've made a shitload of money. I think they've um, done great for themselves. I think making the decision to switch to the podcast format benefited them in the long run after they almost got fucking sued into poverty. And I 100% understand why he did that. Mm -hmm. um, 
I, I think he's put he's taken the podcast in a direction that maybe the fans don't agree with, but monetarily he's bringing in significantly more than he could have ever imagined as a commentary channel. Right. If you want to put it in that perspective, then yeah, that's where I stand. So, on that. but, yeah, I think he's so, a smart businessman. Yeah. I think PR wise, it's uh, yeah, uh, yeah, PR yeah, wise, he's terrible, smart, yeah. but I don't think PR wise, he's like really good. And something that comes to mind is something that actually happened like way long ago in 2017. If you remember, like a uh, the drunken rant uh, H3 had when Eli was away with like uh, Jack Phillips yeah. and stuff. It was yeah. like, oh, Keemstar called me a hypocrite or whatever. And Ethan, like recently in his response to Gokunaru, he said like that was an embarrassing moment. For me personally, as a former H3 fan, or mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still a fan of him to an extent, but like that's when I really started to like not like him because like, um, he, when he, like, says, oh, if you watch Keem, just fuck off. If you watch Scarce, just fuck off or whatever. He's not ju he's not just addressing Keem and Scarce fans, but he's also addressing his fans because there's a lot of crossover. So as a mm -hmm. fan of both Keem and H3 at the time, I felt really alienated by the fact that he said that. Yeah. I think that's, that's here's my thing with, here's my thing with Ethan. Years ago when he was on a fully edited format, his responses and his his sarcasm worked so well in his favor. And I will fully attribute that a lot of my content, I would say, like especially nowadays, I think if a lot of people watch it, I was really influenced by Ethan. Like Ethan to me has always been like I I I I consider him not an inspiration, but somebody that I looked up to, especially during that time. And, you know, mm -hmm. to an extent, I still do. Like, it is what it is. Like, Ethan, you know, it's 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 fine. Everything's in the past. Like, I still definitely respect the guy. That's mm -hmm. where I get it from. I think when he was making the edited content, like, that was when it was, like, really peak. He, anytime somebody would, like, fucking shit on him, he would shit on them ten times harder and win the whole thing. But, any, but now that you have this sort of, like, unedited perspective, especially nowadays with all these long-winded Twitter beasts, it's like... It just, that's where the PR shit drops. That's where, like, he loses the ball with a lot of the greater community, right? Like, mm -hmm. if you had old Ethan going up against Keem right now, mm -hmm. it might be a whole different fucking story if you guys want to really think about it, you know what I mean? Because that old Ethan really brought the fucking spice to it. Nowadays, it's just like, you've got this fight between Keem and Ethan, and it's almost like, you know, you're looking at two sides of the same coin to an extent, right? One, one is obviously much more overt. One is, I would say, you know, I, I don't know. Like it, to yeah. me, Ethan and Keem, it's almost like the same side of the coin, to an extent. Right. To an extent, not all the well, way. <laughs> well, to uh, to go back to what I was saying about the the business point is, it's just that like I don't think that I think he he's smart enough to know that this isn't smart as a business move. So know. you know, I believe that he really does have intent and in, in continuing this fight with Keem, whether I agree with it or not. I just my, my whole point, my whole thesis, I guess, is that I just don't think he's as evil. I don't think he's evil to the point of all the hate that he's getting. I just think he's a normal guy. And a lot of the shit that is, is getting flung at him, I feel like it's non-deserving. Like, like I said, you don't have to like him, but I don't think he's ever done anything that's so questionable that he deserves all this do, hate. Do you want to know that? Do you want to know why I said that they're both sides of the same coins mm -hmm. to an extent? Mm -hmm. Is when they both make takes, right? Here's what I get. And I don't care who disagrees here, whatever it is, it is what it is. When mm -hmm. Keem made that tweet yesterday about the you know victim, I think that was the dumbest way to articulate it, right? Mm -hmm. But at his core, I did agree to an extent with the message where you need to learn how to have consent. And to be honest, if he articulated it better, I think nobody would really disagree with the point. I I, to, I saw that point. It took me like a couple rewatches, and I was like, maybe we should focus on self defense. Maybe we should like fucking you know really really yeah. start teaching people yes or no. He articulated that fucking poorly. Right. But at the end of the day, they both make a point. Ethan can make a point, right? He can make a really good point nowadays on Twitter. Sometimes he articulates it poorly and people start screenshotting, they dogpile it and all that, right? Mm. That's why, to me, I think both of them, to an extent, have the same side, like two sides of the coin. They both make good points. They both have this persona on the internet and they both get, they both are prone to being dogpiled. You know, that that's sort of the case of it. Ethan, though, like in his case, like, yeah, he gets dogpiled. I'm not going to disregard that. Nobody here mm -hmm. is for sure. There's a lot of people that will fucking take a screenshot of his, uh, constantly spam it. They, they'll, they'll, they'll find a way to pill on him. But I mean, the same thing happens to Keem. Same thing happens to all these channels who open themselves it's part up of to being such celebrity. Right. Exactly. You're right. Right. I, I, I agree with you. I'm, I'm just saying I feel like, no, it's it's all towards him. And and the reason why I say that is because right. look at me, for example. I was a, a channel with, what, 600 subscribers when 
Ethan first found my channel, like he had to go that low to find someone that was actually on his side. You know, right. like I just, I don't, I don't, I don't see any creators who are on his side. I, they just like, don't make videos. Right, right. A lot no, of the creators know, are people like people like me who came up as huge fans of Ethan Klein, like literally g growing up watching YouTube, wanting to make YouTube my job. A lot of those. Those guys are kind of upset where, where he took the channel. Mm -hmm. A lot of those guys don't agree with a lot of the decisions he I makes. Mean, and a lot of those guys agree with some of the points that Gokunaru has yeah, made, yeah. agree with mm -hmm. some of the points that myself and Tom have made. And I think we did a good art, like, a good point articulating why that isn't always the most healthy mentality and, and why Ethan doesn't deserve as much hate. Like, there are points in these videos where we're almost pro-Ethan. I, I would say most of my sections in my first video are insulting Keemstar, uh, insulting Mudahar, criticizing uh, Ethan Klein on the Mudahar situation, uh, <laughs> explaining how he didn't steal money, by the way, because there's still no clean mm -hmm. fucking example of Ethan Klein explaining where the money went. I yeah, went back no. and I did it for him to tell everybody the guy's not fucking stealing from people. So when you come out and you say stuff like, this is a, a biased video that makes bad faith arguments and stuff like that, yeah, I take offense to that. I, ab I absolutely do, because I think I did a good job uh, making, uh, like, uh, a positive and then a negative in the first video. The second video is a video we did on the, the content nuke situation, one where I was completely more towards the Keemstar side. With, with the Mudahar video, I, I would yeah, say I, mean, I edged towards H3H3, uh, with, with the exception of two arguments that were made with, about like the, the doxing and stuff like that. But um, I had an issue with Ethan Klein uh, specifically painting a swatting uh, like Keemstar uh, helping put a swatter in jail. I, I, I had an issue with him painting that as a bad thing and he's been very vocal about uh, dis like his disdain for swatters. I have a huge fucking issue with the way the Etika argument was presented because it's obvious it was presented in a certain light and that's how it was mm -hmm. interpreted by everybody. And I had an issue with uh, what was the, the, the fucking, the points making like jabs at G Fuel. Like, mo like what are they, like eight jabs in one video about G Fuel. And his response to that one was, how do I not talk about G Fuel? Like, do you understand how Ethan says certain things that make people get more like, maybe even unjustifiably mad about situations because some of his responses are just that stupid that we can't avoid talking about them. Like, how do you, how do you respond to that point? Like, how do you respond to, um, a, why are you going after sponsors? Well, how could I not have gone after G Fuel? It's like everywhere. Like, that's just, yeah, of course I'm going to call that out. But even at the end of the video, we turn it around and, and try to explain how there's there's a lot of these guys who watch this Gokunaru video and watch our video who claim mm -hmm. they're huge fans of Ethan Klein who haven't watched this podcast mm -hmm. in the past like three years and they still complain about it to this very day and they think they know Ethan or whatever but then they saw him on this podcast and he's not the guy they used to know but in reality he probably always was that guy uh you probably just enjoyed the persona he made when he like made videos that were fully edited and he was able to get his jokes in better and it was scripted mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Don't think like, they like that creator. Himself. Like again, but we're like dragging it back. We're like explaining why, like the opposite of that. So I, I just want to know why are we, where is our bias? I mean, in Ethan's own fucking content nuke, I'm sourced as one of the examples on Keemstar. Yeah. And when I came into Keemstar's exposed video, I got on a podcast and went on like a 20 minute rant about how Keemstar is a piece of shit in the Just Destiny situation and how mm -hmm. he fucking lied to his teeth in his own response. We went on this podcast and we watched Keemstar's second video and laughed hysterically at him because he opened it up with Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> music and fucking sat there and said that Ethan Klein accused 1.5 billion people of sexual of, of molesting children uh, but like I, I'm just saying like there are examples that you can see where I've been critical of Keemstar someone right. who's articulated that he doesn't even like me Edwin's well, in colors, by the way. I want to say I want to say a few things first um I, I didn't see your your complete video. Any anything I was saying was in response to the tweets. It wasn't it wasn't about oh, your guys' video. Dude. Actually, I actually I watched your, your some of your video on a live stream, and I actually didn't say anything bad about it. What, what what I when I did say is actually I commend these guys on not being like some other channels who just straight attacked Ethan's character. Like like we're saying very personal shit about about you know making Jewish jokes and all that. Just just so you know, and I, I know no one likes their content being criticized so i wasn't i wasn't trying to uh well i don't think I wasn't anybody here can sign uh, on those I've seen you make 
Oh, sorry. Moody. I don't think anybody can sign on those Jew jokes. Like, I just want to make it for the record. I absolutely despise all the jokes where, and this happened when I had my thing with Ethan, right? Where, like, everyone yeah. in my comments was like, look at this fucking smelly ass Indian. I didn't, I, I wasn't offended by it or anything, but I was really fucking angry at my community and Ethan's community for, like, or any community really. Right. Off all the Jewish jokes and shit like that. I just, like, Listen, my whole rule is, like, I don't really care, but it's just, like, when your jokes are that fucking pointless, you know, and they don't have, like, punch to them. Dude, why just, does like, this happen every yeah, like... fucking time I get into any fucking debate on this platform? <laughs> we spend fucking 30 minutes arguing about something, and the person I'm talking to says they didn't watch my fucking videos. Every time! This happens every time we go live! <laughs> yeah, well, well, I really want to give Nick no, a hug hey, for that. <laughs> I, I definitely, I can't tell you how many times people have recommended oh, that I watch it. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it. You should watch it. It's a solid video. I will. No, like, I... You've, made, you've made tweets where you're like, oh, this whole commentary community is just like Nick or whoever is like fucking dogpiling on Ethan or whatever, but even you don't even like take the time to see that that's not the case. So how are you going to make these statements? No, I'm, see I'm seeing it on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. Dude, I'm, I'm an asshole Twitter. on Twitter. That's part of my charm. When I make the videos, those are the level-headed discussions about the situation. On my Twitter, I'm fucking sniping people. I do this all the time. I'm addicted to everybody I talk about. I've been ruining the keeps wait, wait, you'll I ever know on that platform. I didn't, ta I didn't tag anyone. It's not like I said your video. No, but you I were never... obviously talking about me. You were talking about our videos. I swear to God, dude. I swear to God. I have no... Like you said, if I would tag people, it would be to get more more exposure but when i'm just saying that literally i i to this day till that day till you guys responded i seen you guys in the comments i'm new to this whole shit i just seen the same people commenting on him and anytime i went to their channels i seen similar patterns and that's why and, and the reason for not tagging was because i honestly didn't know i didn't want to say someone and then that, and then it not be them so that's why i left it open sincerely what? oh my god oh my god because like what? Oh, when Hold you on. don't tag someone it feels like you're just like trying to call someone out, but then when like they come to you, like, "Hey, why are you talking shit?" You're like, "Oh, oh, oh I didn't mean to talk about. I didn't mean you. Yeah, I didn't tell you. Just, oh, you know. Fuck, man. So and like, if, if it was somebody else, I don't know who it is. Maybe hopefully you're comfortable. Like, no, saying I'm sorry, to feel a little. I I don't think you know what the fuck you're doing. And again, that's not like that's not a knock on you. It's you are new. No, it's cool. But I mean, from the same flip of the coin, what's the two main criticism of Ethan? As I said, that he's a hypocrite and he can't take criticism. So now me, a channel with uh, no followers, nothing, says something, doesn't even say your name, and you fu you're, f you're flipping the lid. And and what what is and, and in doing that, c could someone argue that you're being a hypocrite? How am I flipping what? the lid? I'm yeah, okay, saying, can, wait, we, can, we get this tweet? can we get this tweet? Yeah, I wanna know, can like, we, what, yeah, can we get this tweet? Can we get this tweet? I wanna yeah, I see got, like, I got the tweet. Let me, Dude, let me... the thing is, my fucking reply was a quote tweet, so I'll send you my reply. Okay. And the thing is, in my tweet, I am explaining how you don't know context, and you just told me you didn't watch my video. So I don't really, like, I made two tweets about it, and, and now I understand why you didn't have a good argument in response. Like, I, I literally said, like, your attempt to debunk our video was to not mention a single point. Dude, that's now I know why. <laughs> okay, let's say let's, let's, something. Let's, is it? Let's, let's, Everyone yeah, get into the live room and we'll watch yeah, this yeah, tweet. Yeah, go in the live room, we could all watch it together. Is every with everyone in there? I'm in yeah, here. Yeah. All right, let me just. Well, there's only can two I, people in here. Can I say something as a side note, real quick? Uh, Quick, yeah, quickly. That that person Sina just messaged me. <laughs> um, yeah. She, I, I, I do have to agree with you guys on that. That girl is problematic, big time. Oh, thank you, man. Big, big, big fucking time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look, like, if you look into why she's calling Nick racist, it's like insane, dude. Star I'm killer, racist get it. by like three fucking like things of separation. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can we, we, Star the killer, get in the, uh, yeah. get in the live room and we'll watch this video. Yeah. Appa yeah. Apparently, I, I am racist too now because I, I used you, I used her as a weapon against Nick. At this point, everyone's just okay. Bro, just to listen, all right? You know what? I guess we're all fucking... Why don't we're, you... the most mu we're a multicultural group right now, okay? You got one telephone marketer. You've got one guy from Jersey. You've got one dude who reads tweets. You've got Augie. And whatever the fuck I, I do, just, dude, <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm half Sicilian. Dude, I'm, I'm half Sicilian. For all I, for all you fucking know, if I go get a test, you're gonna have to apologize to me, you bitch. All right, all right, Starkilla, get in the <laughs> live room and let's watch this damn video. I want to see the damn video. I want to watch. Can I do it? I want to watch the fucking video. Can I? Okay, go ahead. Are you in? Yep. All right. 
fucking drives me insane about this whole situation. It has nothing to do with defending Ethan. Ethan doesn't need me to defend him. Who the fuck am I to defend Ethan? And I don't think I'm impressing Ethan either. If anything, I'm probably annoying the fucking guy. My problem is with all of you edgy commentary channels. You, you guys know which ones I'm talking about. The ones that use the N-word on Twitter and make gay jokes because since that's so fucking cool. I guess we're in 2006 on fucking Xbox Live or something. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but your arguments are all so fucking privileged. They're some of the most privileged suburban bitch shit I've ever heard in my motherfucking life. He's a hypocrite. He's a piece of shit. Bro, you stop trying to recycle Goku Naro's fucking arguments. Goku Naro got the respect that he did and it blew up because he put the time into his fucking criticism. You guys are not providing anything. And if you do think he's a piece of shit and if you do think he's so bad, at least apply those same fucking standards to Keem. Y'all some fucking lame. Seriously, I know I'm gonna get hate for this, but I don't give a fuck. It's fucking ridiculous. Y'all acting like a bunch of fucking kids. It drives me. Okay, so do you understand why that sounds absolutely insane if you didn't even take the time to watch my video? But I didn't say that. I I wasn't implying that. You're the talking video. about I said my Twitter. You but I can I can see how you can interpret that. But that's that's not what. That, that that wasn't what I was referring to, and my intent and even and being that like I I if, I know you guys don't follow me or anything, but I'm never that cocky. I'm not cocky. My intent in being cocky was to to bait people into responding, because of that because I wanted to prove a point that people who criticize Ethan for being a hypocrite and that he can't take criticism are also like that. We're all fucking. So if I respond to you, I can't take criticism. No, you can respond to me, but there, there's very there's a big difference between how you respond and Turkey Time right. responded. Well, then I'll respond it. Yeah, here this is my response that I gave you. Uh, the one I said initially was, "This kid deals in absolutes. If you're not with me, you're against me. You're like cosplaying a YouTuber. So why don't you go the extra mile and do some research?" I, I sent a sarcastic tweet where I let you know I've put out a video called "How a YouTube Cancellation Went Too Far," Keemstar that has 126,000 views. Uh, it's set, it's in the content nuke by Keemstar. So your fucking thesis of your message is why do you not turn that like that research around and use it against Keemstar? And my example is, hey, hey moron i i did that i literally did that i i did exactly what you just said to keemstar and it was used in the video that i'm critiquing and then my, my other response was i also went on a podcast with tommy c uh, i believe the date of this if i could pull it up for you just so we can put the put a lid right on that this was on may 24th 20 uh 2020 where i went on a long-winded speech criticizing keemstar publicly on his response video so it's weird to be called biased by a dude who gets shouted out by ethan once a week in this fucking video that i linked to <laughs> you keemstar showed up in my co in the comment section of the uh of the live chat saying that he would not come on because he didn't want to debate me on just destiny mm-hmm because he couldn't, because I'm right, because I made the video. I used my research and I used it on Keemstar. So yeah, I responded like a dick to you, but is my fucking thesis wrong? Is my argument wrong? And then oh, you yeah. turned around with you can't take criticism and yeah, you're, you're biased, you make bad arguments, but I won't name them. I debunked the argument and you responded by saying I can't take criticism. Yeah, bro. Honestly, I was just trying to piss you off a little bit, man. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. There we go. Oh, there no. We go. It was just all bait. No. All right. no. I felt like I, I mean, I had a very simple, I wasn't, yeah, I had a very simple thesis. I feel like I proved it, that, that you as well do the same thing that you criticize Ethan for. That you could, you get mad when someone criticizes you, someone at a much smaller scale, and that, and, and doing that makes you also a hypocrite based on your own, your own logic. What? Wait, wait. Is anyone what? wait? Is anyone criticizing Ethan for getting mad at Keem? One, of, yeah, you. It's one. No, that he can't take criticism. That's one of the big points. I don't think he can take him. criticism because I think he responds to it poorly. I don't. I don't think just his level of anger is the reason he's responded poorly. I think the responses that he makes, like with Leafy, is here, for example, where he uh, leaked a big YouTuber's DMs because he asked him if he could help with YouTube because he obviously has some connections yeah. not like obviously has connections where he took leafy's videos down but the fact of the matter is susan wojcicki has been to his house so he might have an extra phone he can call uh to try to help leafy out because he was about to be terminated well, he dumps fine. that guy that's, 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 that's he quote that tweets you... leafy and goes nothing of value is lost when his channel's in danger of being deleted H3 and this is why people is think a... he's a <laughs> this is why people think he might have done these things because the way he responds to certain criticism causes like 
this, this whole thing. When when he goes to Mudahar and he says, the FUPA fund, I've explained this tons of times. The research is there. And I go to do the research and I find it in the middle of some Twitter thread back in 2017 where not all the questions are even answered. And in that response, he's being like a dick to Kim who's just asking where the fucking money went back then. Yeah, like, dude. I, I don't think he's good at responding to these things, man. I, I don't think he's it's it doesn't it's not like a level of anger. It's just like in general, I don't think he's handled PR very well. That's fine. There's a that's that's okay. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm not I'm you know like you 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 have the right to think that. So do you think Nick is still hypocritical for responding to your video, or do you understand now that's that's not the case? Hello? He responded was, was well either. Can you hear me? Are you cut out. But but he gave you an example like that immediately. I didn't beat around the bush. Like it's right there. But no, but it, it's it's based on on terms that you're setting that you guys are agreeing with. A group of friends agreeing with that. That's not going to sway my opinion. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm being respectful. You, you but said I'm that he's biased towards Keemstar. He showed you a video where he exposed Keemstar and an instance where he yeah. uh, ranted okay, about Okay, wait, so if someone, so if someone argues with someone, that means that, that, that that's it? That, that that he has no bias towards I him? I argued against him? I think, you I know, think What do you know is, about think, the Justin hey, Eskin situation I, I that, that Ethan scale, covered? Because Ethan scale. butchered my fucking story. Do you know what Keemstar did to that fucking guy? First of all, he asked him, do you touch kids over a fucking thumbnail? Because he had a picture that aired on daytime television in his fucking thumbnail, because it was a Dr. Phil episode. So in a, in a thing where a, a, just destiny claims that he specifically said the pedo shit wouldn't be in the interview came blindsided him with a question asking him if he touched kids then he jumped into an entire group chat filled with like a hundred fucking youtubers including respected guys like jay aubrey the right opinion huge fucking channels okay In this chat, mm -hmm. and it, we have to find we, it's, it becomes a witch hunt we got to find who this fucking guy is, is 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 the big thing here because he might be a pedophile like i have fucking screenshots yeah. and stuff why There's does the discord keep cutting us. out then he gets into a, a google he uh what is it uh, no every now and again uh, you guys will just go quiet and then when i speak i'll hear you guys again okay whatever just go so, ahead he he thought it would be like what we needed to do is because just destiny wouldn't show his face he could have just been a pedophile how could we know he's mm -hmm. not a pedophile mm -hmm. so what he did was he he created a google hangout with the doxer who harassed my family throughout uh december and january added me to the call and a couple other other youtubers it, the link was posted in the main group chat filled with all these fucking reputable youtubers who have no idea what's going mm -hmm. on and in that chat Keem was trying to convince a lawyer and, uh, and us that um that Just Destiny was a 35-year-old incarcerated pedophile. This guy sounds like he's 22 years old, but he said, well, I guess that's how it is. And, and obviously that didn't go anywhere. We all realized that he can't be posting these videos from jail. So he took it back into the chat, found this dude, right? Found out that he's not a pedophile. And then after all of that was said and done, he goes, he said the N-word. So we better go, we, we, should, we should still go through with this. We should put his information out there. We should, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. We should threaten him with his information. Um, then they found out a very unfortunate event, why that wouldn't have mattered. Uh, and then serious. after that, after that, he goes, well, all right, he's not racist. All right, he's not a, uh, he's, he's not a pedophile, but he's being a dick. So I'm going to threaten him with his docs anyways. Mm. Okay. So then we had to explain to him why that was a bad idea. As I'm just sitting here laughing at this, this is just going completely off the rails. I recorded the whole call. The call's out there. You can research this anytime you want to. It's all there. But um, it, he then takes the docs and he sent it to a 15-year-old. Mm -hmm. the, the guy's personal information. He sent the guy's personal information to a fucking minor who could have fucking distributed the shit out of it. So I, I, I go through it, this whole situation. And, and then I, I, I publicly had a blowout debate with Keemstar on this fucking program as the video is coming out. I burned every bridge I had in the community. For, I was banned from fucking group chats for over a year <laughs> for this fucking argue, for this fucking video. I was almost <laughs> blackballed by the entire fucking community. So if you're going to say and you're going to minimize my fucking video to we had a simple disagreement, dude, this was like a fucking event. 
<laughs> there was a lot of shit that happened. So Ethan, Ethan just going, oh yeah, you you um you asked him if he touched kids in an interview. Really undersold the amount of shit that that fucking asshole did to Just Destiny, who's genuinely just a guy who fucked up, and he's mm -hmm. I think he's made up for it. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not. I, I think you're minimizing that a little bit there. Yeah, I, w I would say like if we can like compile all the criticisms Nick has made against Ethan and Nick has made against Keem, it's about equal. It's just that all of the criticisms against are Ethan recent. are more recent. recent. Yeah, yeah dude, I, I've been talking shit about Keem for like a year and a half. I, right. I, I ratioed him recently. He ex he goes, wouldn't it be nicer if we can get a little closer if you remove that video? And I dumped that tweet publicly and he blocked me for six months. Because uh, I, I wasn't going to take my video down. because he And I'm, I'm not de denying that that's the case. But my, my whole point was in this situation that's happening right now. Everything that's happening right now, I just see every like, well, what's the point of, of the of the the horse memes and stuff? What is the what is the point of sharing that? Is it just the clear like, that doesn't seem very fair to me. Well, I don't think that this whole situation is still continuing, and nickel and diamond came at every point is fair to me. I don't think um, using your fucking platform to attempt to platform someone is fair to me. And I'm an asshole, so if I want to tweet a, a fucking horse emoji. You can hate me for it. You can think I don't hate you move. for it. That's cool. no, no, no. That's, that's no but I, 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 I brand myself as an asshole. I don't come on this internet to be liked by people. So if people don't like me, dude, that's totally fine. I don't. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. I like you. Thank that's you. That's fine. No, that, that, that's that, what I'm saying. That's <laughs> all I was saying. It's just that in this situation, I feel like it's just a dog pile of Ethan. I'm not saying in the past mm -hmm. you didn't you didn't go after Keem. I'm not saying that. That's that's not my point. It's just in this situation, every time Ethan says anything, it's all the same group attacking him, and, and then it just gets retweeted, and, and another spin is put on it. And I'm not saying it's like you guys are doing it for monetary value or whatever it is. I'm just saying that that's, that is that is what it is. I'm, I'm not saying that your intents are, are pure or anything. I'm just saying that the Well, I mean, my whole channel got, de like, basically demonetized after I made that video. YouTube went back and literally fucking uh, <laughs> un ungreened every video I've ever seen. Now, I've been joking. Like, I don't think it, I don't think it was Ethan, but I'm, I've been joking about age it. Three, age 3 H3 is hilarious a... It's fucking the allegations that go around right now that as soon as I make a video on Ethan... Every permanently monetized video on my channel. I actually H3 like, was working with uh, Antifa to to take out your YouTube channel, Nick. So, <laughs> I, I, dude, I'm even, sorry to hear dude, that, here's man. That, that sucks. Here's a hypothetical for you. Uh, do you think it's possible? And this is just off topic. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's possible that Ethan Klein isn't trying to get videos removed? He isn't trying to like uh, talk about these things. Like he's not. Uh, um, he's not like actively going out to censor criticism, and they, the, that whole criticism is unjust. But maybe he is getting treatment he's not even aware of that that are causing some of these things. So I'm sorry, what was in this? Do I do is I think it possible it's possible that YouTube? Yeah, do you think it's possible that YouTube's just like they like him more? Um, I, I that a, a big a gigantic website like this where Susan would just would just oh, do a house dude, yeah, I definitely think it's up. possible. I don't think it has anything to do with Ethan. I don't think if I, if that is the case, I don't think Ethan has anything to do with it. Okay, I just want to know, like, do you think, like, yeah, so you think it's, it is totally possible that even if Ethan specifically didn't ask for this stuff to happen, that he could be getting some sort of special treatment that maybe even he's not aware of? I don't think it's happening. Oh, shout out to my happening. boy but Cavos, that's... he's in the chat. Yeah, Sorry. but that's not the question. He's asking, like, do you think it's a possibility? Because my, I, I, my I'm worried. I'm worried that my response is going to be twisted no, 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 somehow. No, it's not going to be twisted. No, no, it's not be twisted. This is my hypothetical for what I think mm -hmm. happened. Because mm -hmm. this is the huge the H three H three conspiracy. Mm -hmm. My big hypothetical for this whole thing, and obviously it's based off just what I would guess, is that maybe like because obviously they had a meeting based on all these YouTube policies. H three H three said he was talking about like monetization for creators and stuff like that, and he was actually uh, championing for us where people thought he wasn't. But I mean, I'm thinking mm -hmm. like maybe because obviously creator on creator harassment came up. I mean, that was the the blog post, right? That was one of the big points in the blog post. Mm -hmm. I mean, couldn't you think it's possible maybe that Ethan just said something along the lines of like, yeah, dude, these drama videos are bad. Look at all that stuff that's happened with James Charles right now. Did you know there's some video of me that's got a million views where the, the guy's pointing a gun at my head? Like, not even intending to get the video taken down just to verbally say something like that. That's what. That's always what I thought happened. But right, now, I mean like, even if that's not true, when I see him openly trying to fucking bring up the YouTube studio saying he's like a danger to the partner program and stuff like that. <laughs> Do you not understand why? Like I would think that maybe he's not, he doesn't have the best intentions, why he might be that yeah. behind the scenes. Yeah. Like, I don't, you, I you don't, don't agree at all with Ethan deplatforming platforming Keem. Like 
this is just not okay. I understand like he has this beef with Keem, but I don't think the deplatforming needs to be a thing. That's that's too far. Right. And, and neither I mean, should Ethan get deplatformed either. By the way, let me just say, no. Oh one God, should. no, no. I think Ethan no. should be on the platform. Yeah. How about nobody? How about we live in this wonderful utopia where nobody but like. Pedophiles get deplatformed. How about that? You know what I mean? Well, he's really upset David Duke got kicked off today. Ex Don't say that. It's the, on exactly. his birthday, no less. Fuck David Duke. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, listen, I think we I, can like, all agree if, with that. If, if, there's, if there's proof of, of Ethan ever doing that, then my, my opinion would change. But like I said, like the, the, my whole thing is between him and like Keem, for example, is just that the stuff I have problems with Keem about is like it's it's factual. It's proof. It's It's been there. You know what I mean? But like... If, if if anything was to come out like that about Ethan, then I then I would change my mind. And I'm 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 not saying there's anything wrong with you. If you guys believe that, that's that's completely yeah. okay. You the know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, can I just ahead. say Are off topic to... real quick? Can I just say off topic? Cavos is what I'm Alex wishes he could be. Anyways, go ahead. Yeah, my my biggest issue is just that when people see uh, others criticizing Keem, mm -hmm. people like Stalkiller are like, "Oh, you're Team Keem," you. or no? When we uh, did I say that right? Like, when people are criticizing Ethan, Starkiller immediately thinks, oh, you're Team Keem. Just because you criticize Ethan doesn't mean you're Team Keem. Just because you criticize Keem doesn't mean you're Team Ethan. You can criticize no. both of them and not be on oh, either 100%, side. Oh, 100%, dude. 100%. Like, just... Gokunaro is a prime example of that. Like, but yeah, when, I don't know. Like... Whenever I see all the horse memes and stuff being shared on your guys' pages and buying Keem's merch, what do you, what do you expect me to think? Okay, I don't know if buying Keem's merch is necessarily representative of us being on Team Right, Keem. but what if, what if, what if the yeah. same person that was talking shit about Teddy Fresh? What do you mean? I, do you, well, do you I haven't Teddy, talked shit about Wait, Teddy. wait, wait. Do you think Teddy Fresh looks remember. good? Right, wait, we can get into a really semantic argument. Do you wait, think Teddy gonna... Fresh <laughs> looks better than the fucking... The, the, now, the, uh, wait a minute. Okay, I think Teddy Fresh looks okay, better listen, than Okay, listen, I... Evil. I, I think, Dude, I, I bought think, a I, I bought a fucking beanie, bro. I'm not going to Zoomies to go buy a purple and fucking. Uh, I wouldn't blue buy either. Personally, I wouldn't buy either. But I don't like Axis of Evil. Looks like MS Paint, bro. I'm just gonna say that. I, oh, fuck yeah, off! I, I, I think both hoodies look absolutely comfy to wear. Although I like the Keem Park one, dude. The Keem Park one's oh, the good. Keem Park one I don't solid. like the Axis of Evil. That's a per just a personal preference. Obviously, not objective. Uh, but and, yeah. and I don't think Keem is as evil either. I think he does fucked up shit and that that's one of the reasons i think he just needs to be called out on it but i i, I genuinely don't think even keem is a fucking evil dude just for the record also um, i do want to uh answer what Cavos is saying in chat he says let's agree all Cavos merch is the best dude bro, i got a Cavos hoodie right. i'm wearing it right Did now you dude fucking see it's that so hoodie that was fresh. Bro. the white and red one was sick shut up right bro now. it was i got the black and like purple Cavos. Uh, text it's Shout so out. comfortable, dude. It looks Cavos, fine. Cavos, can you like, can you like send me dude. can you send me a hoodie? They're out of are they out of stock? Because last time I checked, they went out of stock. I don't know. I, I bought mine. Buy one. Can we I buy saw one? a pretty good coffee I mug, dude. I saw a pretty yeah, good I mug. I buy Cavos' hoodie fifty times over an internet. Dude, I've hoodie. I've bought a lot of YouTuber merch, and Cavos' is the most comfortable. Hey, I I yeah, saw I, a pretty I good. Have, I have I have hey, 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 I will not. I will not. Stop bringing this up until people acknowledge how good my coffee mugs are. All right, so bow down. Oh, did you see I'm the, uh, <laughs> Wait, did you see the I'm, I'm Alex shirt, shit, bro? Wait, did you see the I'm Alex shirt where he? Tried I like how this has just evolved into like merch team. review. Bro, dude, I'm Alex tried to sell the pride flag. He literally tried to sell merch. All it said was LGBT on it. I'm gay, bro. Is this guys, his merch uh, store? Can I can I can I publicly uh, defend myself and you guys against something? Um, What's up? Real quick. Sure, it's it's the girl that... accusing us of all being racist, right? <laughs> it's the girl, yeah. So listen, this is, I know you're listening, Sai. This is the problem with people like you. You make the left look extreme and crazy. And just to check you right quick before you come at me, my godfather is the president of the NAACP. I have a black god sister. You're talking to the wrong person. And you would, <laughs> you are just looking for a fight with everyone. And I apologize to Nick and anyone else that I used your tweets against. You are full of shit. You are you are I the appreciate. worst thing to you are the worst thing to happen to to uh, you know Black Lives Matter. It's people like you. Ooh. I really do believe. Damn. I think she just NAAC Peter herself, bro. Oh, I've been calling you racist for a while, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, fuck you. Holy shit. Damn. Yeah, no, dude, her fucking entire account is just it's just feel bad for me.
Please, just feel bad for me. Bro, no, no, this, is this is this yeah. is exactly what the other side wants to show is people like her, dude. I swear to God. Yeah. She's yeah. Sky Jackson on a platform. Man. Yeah. Sky Jackson blocked me, dude. <laughs> oh. I use that as a badge of honor. I shit you not in my office. I have Sky Jackson's block framed out and actually like oh my my Nice. Office. Dude, I love my pro Jared block, dude. That's my favorite. <laughs> Wait, you got the pro Jared block? Dude, I got the pro Jared by Andy block, Milanakis. dude. Oh, dude, no. Made too many memes about him. And I made the memes before he even indicated himself, to be fair. And they were all about him divorcing his wife, which he did divorce his wife on Twitter, okay? I like so, the uh, uh, I like the Nerd City block that I have. That's my favorite yeah, one. Nerd, yeah, I have the Fuck Nerd City one too, dude. That's a pretty good Fuck one, bro. Guy. To be fair, everyone, everyone here, everyone who's at Shad has a Nerd City block. <laughs> City block, bro. Oh, dude, Cavos, the Pokemon block, dude. God, you guys are so toxic. I love Pokemon, dude. Dude, I got blocked by fucking Andy Milanakis because I asked who the girl in the baited podcast was. Oh, boy. Guys, I, uh, I don't want to, like, just linger here, guys. I don't want to take over your guys' live stream, but I appreciate you guys allowing me hey, to Hey, thanks for myself. coming on, man. Thanks for defending yeah, your no, position no, and stuff like that. Like I said before, I... It, I I don't really know you that well. I know you did comment on one of my videos. I just saw you guys beefing with the with uh. I saw you like beefing with like Nick and Boblox or whatever. So I just thought I'd you know throw you on. Okay, and... It was on topic, so I, you didn't really. Yeah. I think everyone in the world is blocked by Alinity. Whoever said that in chat. I'm not my, my, I'm Alinity. Not. Fuck that. My unborn kids are blocked by Alinity. Bro, Gabby, <laughs> Hannah, Gabby, <laughs> Hannah, and Lindsay you Lohan. Mean, you, you you and I'm not blocked, bro. But uh, Starkiller, I do want to say one thing before you go. What's your mm -hmm. most impressive block, dude? What's, What's my champion the most? Yeah. Team star. Guaranteed. Uh, the block I'm about to do with this girl right now. No, no, someone oh, the, blocking no, you. No, no, someone like blocking you. Yeah. Like Keem. Keem blocking or somebody else. Yeah. Bro, Keem. Bro, Keem. If I just want, I just want Keem to. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going until Keem unblocks me. Uh, you've been, uh, you've been. To be fair, uh, you've been putting in work to get that block. So once you do you'll, get you'll, it, you're gonna lose it at, on like around Christmas. He unblocks everybody. Oh yeah, Christmas. You're gonna get unblocked. You're gonna have Dude. to do. You're gonna have to do this again. Dude. No, dude, he, he blocked me a long time ago. That was my that was my first thing I said like defending Ethan. He blocked me. <laughs> dude, my, Akeem blocked me and then unblocked me on Christmas and then like two days later he blocked me again, dude. I'm pretty sure I was like the first block after the Christmas wow. purge, dude. But yeah, yeah. With, with Keem, like I know Kev, uh, Kavo said something about how he has a weird love hate with Jake Paul because if it wasn't for him, his channel wouldn't blow up. I kind of got that for Keem because if Keem didn't block me and all the shit Keem did, he's kind of like the, uh, the start of the domino effect that even brought Ethan oh, to, to my channel. So, yeah. Dude, but I, little does Keem know every time he blocks someone, he's giving them a career, dude. Yeah. Fuck. But anyways, all right, guys. But anyways, guys, uh, take it easy. Uh, Thanks for coming on.